Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can chroma key out a green screen inside of OBS. So generally you would do this with a webcam if you have a actual physical green screen behind you. Since I don't, I'm going to be using this green screened image off of Pixabay just to demonstrate the effect and how it works. So you can see here behind the green screen, if I hide the green screen source, that I have Hearthstone there in the background once again. So generally the idea would be that you want to have a talking head, but you don't want to have the entire background covering the video. You only want to record yourself in whatever you are recording or streaming. So if you want to add in the chroma key effect out to filter out all of this green and make it transparent, then what you need to do is right click on your source, which is either going to be a webcam, an image or whatever, and you go down to filters and filters, you're going to have effect filters. You click on the plus button in the bottom left hand corner and you're going to want to choose chroma key from the list. I'm going to leave it as the default name because that makes it clear what effect you're applying. And then if you're lucky, it will already have green selected and that should filter out the background. But if for some reason the color you're trying to filter out isn't the default green or it's not even green at all, you can select from the key color type to a different color like blue, magenta or custom color. So in custom colors, you can select any shade of green that you want. So what you're usually going to want to do in this case is to hit select color and then pick a screen color from the image or webcam you're trying to chroma key out. But in this case, since it's already filtered out, I'm going to temporarily hide the chroma key effect and I'm going to do the pick screen color method again. So I'll do select color and pick screen color. And the reason I'm doing this is that it actually needs to be visible for you to select the color from the screen. So you can find the shade of the color that's most in the middle of what you're trying to actually filter out. So you can see some of these corners here are a little bit darker than in the middle. So I might go for a green that's somewhere like there, not too dark, but not too bright and hit OK. So now if I turn the chroma key effect back on, you'll see that everything is completely disappeared. And that's because the default custom color similarity is turned up way too high. So it's filtering a large range of colors out. So I want to take the similarity bar and lower that just until I can see everything that I need to back in the shot. So for me, that's right around 114. Notice that if I try to drag that further to the right, the colors that are even remotely green start to get filtered out. And if I bring it too far to the left, then it doesn't really filter out the green screen. But because the green screen was done relatively well, uh, I can set something like 100 and it looks really good. You can also adjust the smoothness and the key color spill reduction in order to make slight adjustments to the effect and just make sure that everything that should be there is there. So it's very much just visually eyeballing things. And as long as your green screen was set up decently, you should get a good result. So I'll go ahead and hit close here. And now you can see that the image can be dragged around the screen, but anywhere that was green before is completely filtered out. I can shrink the image down to one corner, which you would probably do if you had a webcam. Just to show that the process is pretty much the same with the webcam, I'm going to move this webcam source back up there and I'll right click on it, go down to filters. And for webcams, you would find it under effect filters once again. So chroma key out there and then hit OK. But you see, the problem is I don't have a green screen behind me. So if I try to do key color green, that's not going to work. And also if I went to custom and I pick a custom screen color, well, you'll see that the results won't look very good at all. And this is of course why if you want to do this at all, you really do need to get a green screen. So, so pick a screen color, something like the gray in the background, I'll hit okay. And I can lower the similarity down to bring myself back into view. But what you'll see is that by filtering out the background, I also filter out my shirt. So this illustrates the reason why a green screen is green to begin with, which is that it's not a common color you would wear on your body. And so with green, it's very easy for your chroma key to distinguish the background from you by selecting green as a color. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that for now. But as long as you do have a proper green screen setup when you're trying to chroma key out, your result should be a lot more like this. And that's pretty much going to cover the basics of chroma keying out a green screen inside of OBS. So I hope you guys are able to get some pretty decent results if you actually have a green screen to put behind you. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.